Hello friends of Oxfam. My name is Winnie Bianima and I'm the Executive Director of Oxfam International. I want to speak with you about change at Oxfam. As you know, last year, good journalists exposed the appalling behavior of some of our staff in Haiti in 2011. We immediately set off on a journey of deep-rooted reform. One of the first things we did was to set up an independent commission of eminent human rights leaders and experts. We asked them to thoroughly and examine all aspects of our work in public and to leave no stone unturned. I'm sorry to those who have been let down by bad behavior and abuses of power by some of us. As an African woman, I encounter both sexism and racism in many places where I go. I know what it feels like. I'm pained and angered that some colleagues have done this within our organization. We must forcefully challenge such unacceptable behaviors. I'm determined to ensure that Oxfam's internal culture lives up to the values we espouse in our work around the world. And I count on all our staff and partners to do this, to change our organization. The report also revealed sexual exploitation and abuse from its site visits to local communities in three humanitarian responses where there were multiple agencies operating, including Oxfam. The commission said, that this, I quote, should be of concern to the entire aid sector, not just Oxfam. And I agree with that. Where they received specific concerns about sexual abuse, the commissioners alerted the agencies concerned. The commission did not refer to Oxfam any new allegations of a sexual nature about our staff. But that fact in no way diminishes our concern. I'm shocked and angry whenever I hear of any case of sexual abuse and exploitation. We have not done enough in the past to ensure that the communities we work with are protected and are able to live their lives with dignity. The Independent Commission says we have tremendous will, energy, and commitment to reform. I believe they are right. We've changed a lot already. In 15 months, we've invested more than 3 million euros in new safeguarding staff and global systems. We have put staff focal points in every country we work in and trained them. We've strengthened our hotlines for people to report problems when they happen. We have new Oxfam-wide policies for preventing sexual misconduct and for child protection. We have new standard operating procedures for reporting misconduct, and we have a single safeguarding network across our confederation. We also have new survivor supporter guidelines that we never had before. Today, I've announced a 550,000 euro integrity fund that will be used to strengthen local organizations that we work with. We are also going to strengthen safeguarding in the 12 most challenging environments in which we operate. Then, to ensure strong leadership, I'm about to announce the appointment of a new director of safeguarding and culture as well as a new global culture lead to work with her. All this and more is part of our 10-point action plan to transform our culture and strengthen safeguarding. I'm a fighter for justice. These reports are challenging, but that's why they will help us to truly become a place of safety and dignity for all. Thank you for listening.